And turning now to COVID, the State Department of Health released the latest COVID numbers for Pennsylvania. Newswatch 16's John Meyer breaks it down from the digital studio. We got the latest numbers from the Pennsylvania Department of Health. And when we're taking a look at the COVID situation in Pennsylvania, the cases have risen a bit over the past week. It's hard to tell on the graph that tracks trend from the past year because we were so high last January. But there's a slight uptick in the COVID cases. But remember, those are the official cases. So there's a lot more people testing at home. You probably know people that have tested positive recently. So because there's so much COVID that we know is out there, the key is the severity of it. So we are seeing a bit of an uptick in COVID related hospitalizations. A disclaimer on that though, Pennsylvania does not separate hospitalizations for those that are in the hospital because of COVID or those who were there for something else and happened to test positive. For example, Massachusetts, 25% of people are there because of COVID, the rest just happened to test positive. Even with that, that was last January, that was the January before. You can see there is just still a big difference in the severity of COVID in Pennsylvania and COVID related deaths have been at the same low level for months now. Doctors say there is a new variant that circulated in the US, but it looks like it's not as severe, similar to the other variants we've seen recently. It's out there, just not people getting as sick. I do wanna show you one other thing that I took from the Pennsylvania Department of Health website. This is flu cases in Pennsylvania. This is showing recent years, the graph of the amount of flu. Look at the spike this year and how fast it's falling. It's much earlier than in years past, but it is coming down. We all know there's been a lot of sickness out there. Similar symptoms, COVID, flu, other viruses. It's out there. It, it does look like the flu is starting to come down. At least that's one promising sign. We'll keep an eye on all of it for you. John Meyer, Newswatch 16 in the digital studio.